Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about good programmers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was pretty much that. Frederick, what do do in what do good programmers do that makes them so good at coding? So uh there are two things that really good programmers do, which I believe is the end results. And then there are there is one thing that they do in order to get good in the first place. So let's talk about that first and foremost. The end state for a good programmer is, number one, the person has the uncanny ability to understand the problem that they are solving fully usually. They truly understand what it is that is necessary in order to resolve a situation or fix something etc etc. And that is something that a lot of software developers, like the mediocre ones, never do that. They never get to that point because they never actually learn enough about the problems that they are dealing with and figure out how to understand fundamentally what these issues are in order to come up with good solutions. It's sort of how um, I usually define a fairly mediocre software developer or like the mediocre software developer is an individual who has to be told what to do in order to solve the problem and you have no idea how many of these people there are where you cannot just ask them can you please solve this company problem that we have they won't be able to figure it out. Like they, they are, they can write code, but they don't know how to fix problems. And that is the thing that uh, I truly believe is what makes someone truly great at the engineering, just in general. You understand problems, and you understand that there are many ways to solve said problem. The tools that at your disposal are usually coding related because some problems are best solved through software some problems are best by writing a readme file some problems are best solved by adding a calendar event or creating a template for an a email or do a batch job or you know if you're going to go further some people some problems are solved by having coffee at the at <laughs> readily available etc etc that is what true uh, truly good software developers are able to do to not just look at oh i need to write some code this is the code the, that seems to suit this thing but to truly take the time and to actually understand what would be the ideal scenario here from all all things considered right because sometimes um, and i like to say this to guy to people all the time uh, you could be the world's best software developer and all that has to happen for you to completely crash and burn on your project is that a stakeholder doesn't really know how to fix their problem comes to you and says i need this thing built and then you're too well to whatever uh, to understand that you've been put in a situation where there is no way to code your way out of this problem and very few co programmers uh, are good enough like the, that's what the good ones understand that this can happen at any time most uh, mediocre software developers are more focused on uh, well basically what are good practices what are like uh, you, you know how to put like they cannot take their eyes off their own tools and processes in order to and actually deliver something of the, the, the true value and such a person is very dangerous because they will always try to solve every single thing by basically well they, they have a very narrow perspective on how to fix something this is the sort of thing where I mean if you want to try it out as I said go and ask your software developers to build a solution don't let the PO like give them a specification. Just tell them, I want to fix this problem. How do we do it? And you will see how many of them completely choke at doing that. And that is why some people say, oh, we need architects. We need visual, like big perspective thinkers. And I can go, I kind of go, <laughs> no, you don't. You just need good software developers. Architects are actually worse 
because you're uh, unless they are architects who are actually serious software developers if you need a person to formulate a strategy for how to solve the problem then you don't have truly gifted software developers in your company and you're trying to bridge that fact by hiring somebody who in many cases unfortunately doesn't actually know how to write software themselves they are system architects or big picture type of people who are like very good at UML charts and conceptual stuff but they're actually not very good with the details and it is the, the, the what is the saying the devils are in the details so that's the first part the other part is uh, what truly good software developers know is the various tools and approaches to solving the problem and that is you probably the thing that everybody thinks that good software developer is all about you know you know a lot of coding stuff and you know a lot of technical stuff but as I said before you can be the second thing here is it is actually secondary because you can be the best at all your tools all your solutions you can know your stack like the back of your hand but if you do not have the ability to do the first thing to identify what a good solution looks like on really true and to do that you actually have to understand what is needed to make this thing a success and that is so much bigger than just coding but then when you have understood that you need the actual skills to do that and sometimes it's coding that is the thing that happens that needs to be the thing that you know you really need to know your coding in order to solve that problem because it's a very technically hard problem sometimes it's a process problem you need to understand how to lead people sometimes it's a documentation problem you need to know enough to basically create like a playbook or some process where you can help your team or your coworkers or something like that to kind of sort of understand you have to teach them your way of thinking or things like that in order to truly solve the problem because the problem isn't really a coding problem it is a people problem and trust me when I say this guys when you get to the team level and technical lead types of roles like all you do is basically try to figure out how are you gonna get all these mid-level or junior type of profiles in your team depending on the team now of course to all pull in the same direction and code according to say the same guidelines and I promise you if you have been skimping on your understanding of like uh, how to set up like a good work process for yourself and you don't know how to work in a, yourself in a structured or organized fashion etc etc you're gonna crash and burn because if you can't get it right how the hell are they gonna get it right so these are the two th the end state two things and the other two like bonus things which is how do you get to that space how do you get to be so good well it's actually very very simple learn how to find answers to your questions and practice that's all that there is to it so what I want you to take away from this is that what do pro really good programmers do that most programmers don't well number one they are as I like to call call it problem oriented they are the sorts of people who when you ask them how to solve a problem they will actually think about the problem and all the different ways you can solve that problem they're not going to think about their code first they're going to think about what is the actual issue here and try to really get to the root of that issue and sometimes the solution is you write a piece of software and you know the really mediocre ones are gonna immediately start talking about which framework to use or like what language to use etc etc the really gifted programmers are kinda just gonna go well this would probably be a solution that is as simple as we can make it but it's going to be scalable etc etc they're gonna be much more high level in the initial stages and then the further they get there into understanding exactly the, the nitty gritty details of the thing they're gonna do the more specific they're gonna be about Name, name dropping tools and things like that the mid levels are going to go like the mediocre shitty and even the shitty seniors they're going to jump there directly they're going to go into tooling immediately the other part that they do really really well is that they know their shit and not just coding they know how to talk to people they know how to um, like explain things in layman's terms they know how to set up a structured work process they know how to uh, really uh, really find the areas which needs to be improved in order for the whole thing that they're going to do to actually be a success that is incidentally also the trademark of a true senior software developer if you ask me a true senior software developer is an insurance policy it is an insurance policy that your product is going to go well 
and if you have failing projects it's usually down to that you don't tr really have a senior and you can quote unquote call yourself a senior but until you can basically deliver on most projects that you are handed and meet success and expectations you are in my book not a real senior and the way that you get to be this titan of industry or coding or whatever is number one learn how to find answers to your questions be the sort of person who goes out and figure out why okay this thing i don't know how do i find an answer to that it might be googling and stack overflow like there's tons of ways of getting good at that stuff number two is make damn sure that you practice because you don't get to be really really good without a lot of practice have a great day